Rabbi Sai, Karate Illuminati, this is Noah, and today we're going to be going over a drill that I recently shared uh, using the bag with a stick tied to it as an improvised kakia or kakate biki. Uh, but we're going to show how that applies on a person and why that flow drill is set up the way that it is. So the drill starts with a parry pass to the outside and a low strike before we go into the rest of the overall drill. If he's extending an arm towards me, this could be a punch, it could be a push, doesn't particularly matter. As long as this arm's extending, I'm going to parry pass to the outside, take control of it here, and strike low. Now, as I do this, I can drive forward and lock the elbow against the chest. But the drill, at this point, brings this up. And at the same time this is curling up, this hand is pushing down. So I should get this lifting action on his arm. Now, most likely, if they resist this, they're going to try and bend this elbow so that it doesn't go straight. At that point, we roll it over. And by changing the direction of pressure, it's harder for the opponent to resist. So we roll it over, now we've got an arm bar that drives them downward. So of course, if they want to get out of this, they're typically going to try and force themselves back up, keeping their arm bent so that I can't lock it. Well, as they come up, we clear this overhead, take control of their head, and strike in with the elbow. Now, you can punch if you want, you can throw strikes to the body instead of the head, but from here, we've got a lot of options. To continue the drill, though, this arm is going to get swept back to the front. And all that that is, is using my forearm along his arm, I should be able to just follow it on down, because I don't need to look at it, since his head and neck go down to his shoulder, his shoulder goes down to the arm. And I pass this to my hand and lock it back up with the first lock we worked. And again, if he resists, I roll this over. If he resists and stands back up, I just throw it over my head, throw my strike in, and again, around. And we can just keep looping this. Now, obviously this isn't an application drill in the sense that you would do all of those things on a person, because chances are pretty slim you're going to just continually lock and lock and lock and lock. What it really is is just showing you how to go from one to another in a sequence so if you are in any of those locks or even from that striking position, you can go into the next thing from there without having to think about it. You're going to, rather than take the drill and do A, B, C, D, E, F on a person, in reality, you might do A and then B or C and then D, and so on. So it's all about being able to transition from one technique to another, rather than it being necessarily one whole realistic fighting drill. It's pieces of realistic fighting drills put together so that you can build that ability to transition naturally. 